Hey guys, Beast here. And I wanted to wish you a very Merry New Year. Uh, 2020 may it be the best year for you guys. We're going to set this uh, year off right. Already been to the gym. It was actually quieter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, with all the New Year's resolution folks out there, I expected it to be kind of packed on a Saturday. Not so much. We had the gym to ourselves back. Second cup of coffee. And we're going to get this year started off right with an EDC video. Uh, those of you that don't know, EDC is everyday carry. We're going to start off with a pocket dump. This is stuff that I have in my pocket right now. I'm in the middle of working on the garage, and I thought I would just break it down. It, not a lot of things have changed, uh, but just a couple. And uh, also, we're going to talk about pants and clothing, because that's a question I get a lot um, when I do these videos. I generally just throw everything out of my pocket. My recent uh, EDC sort of dump was with uh, Urban Prepper. Uh, up there in the uh, the Great Washington North, and it hasn't changed a whole lot from there. But I haven't done an exact reason why and explanation for why I carry what I carry uh, here on the channel. So let's break it down on the tabletop. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to start laying this out here. Key ring, carabiner, uh, nothing too fancy on there. I do have the old County Com uh, screwdriver set, just something I've carried for years there. Of course, you've got the wallet. I've done a video on this. This is the VanQuest that I have uh, repurposed so that it'll actually fit um, a passport. And so that's why you can see the tenacious tape that is actually still doing very well. This is going on, what, 2013 when I did this. So over five years, same thing. I do use a little rubber band generally just to keep everything compact, very small wallet. And then of course, the synonymous cell phone doesn't really matter what it is is a samsung something s something rather uh i am trying the life proof case had this over a year bought this originally not just for antarctica because of its waterproofness but for wildland fire uh all the ports are sealed and uh even having some rough cases uh rugged cases i found that um you know all the ports would start getting clogged with the dirt when you're working out in the mountains front right pocket normally this is actually a leatherman signal normally this is just clipped just like a normal pocket knife uh, if you guys follow the channel for a long time you know i love the skeletal i have switched to the signal uh, i found that um, i just needed a little bit larger jaw um, and i ended up breaking the skeletal a couple times this thing is going strong you can see it used to be green it's uh, wearing thin we're about down to silver now. As you know, I do these videos not with new tools. Uh, she is well loved. But uh, if you guys want a separate video about the signal, you can Google someone who's done one. Um, this is a phenomenal sort of EDC. It's got a little bit of everything, and I find myself using absolutely every little piece of this thing. Maybe not the fire starter. Um, this guy did have a pocket clip, as I mentioned, recently just broke. So I'm going to be sending this back for... Leatherman's wonderful warranty, 25 year warranty to get a new pocket clip. Wish you could just order just a pocket clip, but that is not possible. Other than standard sort of cash assortment, I still rock the Lighter Bro. This thing is basically a lighter a beer opener at the bottom. This is the mini. So you got a little katana blade, a small little flathead screwdriver on this guy slash, you know, poker. Uh, if you're a smoker, I find this, I use this all the time for electrical outlets when I'm swapping them out. A lot of the older outlets in um, our neighborhood, you need to do the push release on the back of an electric out outlet, and this thing is perfect for it. Um, still find 100 uses for that. It is a little bent, but it's still going strong over the, uh, the full-size lighter, bro. Um, I still carry dog sacks, uh, multi-purpose, everything. Um, they're usually a little bit neater tucked in my pocket, but I had two of them and I just used one the other day. Be a responsible dog owner slash dead bird that the cat finds. Uh, we had a dead duck in the front yard the other day. These are kind of my impromptu gloves to grab something I don't want to touch and throw it away. Um, you can use it for water sourcing, you name it. Flashlight, still rocking the uh, S1 baton. Uh, this little guy is uh, still rock solid. Um, it's so bright, especially wearing a, a baseball cap, it instantly becomes a headlamp uh, with that clip. I do find that um, the other Olights have kind of a magnetic uh, charging unit on there. This one, you charge directly through a USB port in the battery. But this thing is bright enough for just the everyday thing. But I find myself 
charging this thing quite a bit. I'm either using too much at, at a higher um, output uh, than I probably should for an EDC. So I may go back to an 18650. I've been really happy with the light and the output and the size of this thing. However, I just keep charging it a little bit more than I'm used to for my EDC, but it is still rock solid. What else we got? Um, this thing has seen better days. This is the Duke Cannons. Uh, ridiculously large chapstick uh yes i use chapstick like a lot of people do uh, i started going with this because not only does it have spf rating of 30 but what it used to say on here is it also won't melt uh below 140 degrees so in the motorcycle tank bag and wildland fire when it is screaming over those tr triple digit temperatures uh, this thing does not become a messy you know existence the uh wrappers obviously seen better days but because of the size of it it uh it's lasted for quite a while i've got a little basically one pair of gloves uh this is in the like pill organizer ziplocs i use these things for a lot of items but i am woofer qualified i am comfortable with my first aid and uh yeah uh, it happens a lot more than you'd probably think that you come across situations the other night We were having a lovely date and we realized the bar was really empty and that's because everyone had Peeled out outside to uh, have someone who had passed out and so I was instantly Reaching for those and EMS had show showed up uh, shortly after that there was already people working on him when I came on scene But you never know now depending on your comfortability or not um, you know CPR is something that everyone can do the hands-only CPR that is you know touted across the country now uh, You don't need to do much make sure the scene is safe and uh, start going to town uh, You could be the difference. So the thing I also carry is this little rescue Q1. It's a perfect little size uh, inside of there um, I do have another one of those little Ziploc pouches and in there are four baby aspirin that's because I'm comfortable Giving that or finding out what they've uh, you know given before that can be a big difference getting that going uh, early on and as far as face shields go um, This is a valved face shield and it's just a little bit more competent. I won't pull the whole thing out I used to carry the uh, AMK little thin pieces in my wallet But that, those get worn down quite a bit because they weren't protected as well as those just didn't have a very good valve in them This has a true valve. It's easy. We've got them on all of our key rings and they go everywhere we go uh, back left pocket bandana snot rag whatever you want to call them um you know so many uses I, i'm kind of a, a bit of an old school carrier with this this is everything from a, a pot grabber on a campfire to wiping my nose to cleaning up something i didn't need to clean up um, this becomes the catch-all everything uh you know there's just a thousand one uses with this guy and uh, i've just carried a bandana for years and that's just kind of my back left pocket always Last item on the list is, yeah, my personal protection. I'm still rocking the Ruger LCP uh, with the new, what is it, Springfield Thundercat, something like that. Um, I'm gonna really consider it. The only downside I've ever had with this is this is a nine millimeter uh, with a nice soft leather case is a bit of moisture from the leather and the slide is not uh, Cerakoted or anything. So I was gonna do that, but I've not figured out where there's some sort of rough edge on somewhere that keeps eating up my t-shirts uh, in the same spot. So we're probably gonna look to switch that out down the road. Um, it has been my go-to for many years if you guys have followed my channel. Hey guys, an important item is the belt. Especially if you carry, you know, your belt's gonna be holding everything. I am still rocking this old Spec Ops. Um, it's a riggers belt, got Velcro attachment, a nice heavy buckle. Uh, the riggers thing is just kind of a peace of mind when I'm doing while in fire and down in Antarctica. Um, but I like it because it's easy to adjust. It's easy to cinch. If I'm losing weight, you know, boom, <laughs> there we go. If I go from carrying uh, somewhere to not carrying, it's easy to adjust. And then let's get into the pants. The pants are off the grid designs as they're Gen 3s. All right, guys, I know pants aren't really, you know, the, the coolest thing to talk about. 
Um, however, these have been an amazing addition. Um, I've gone to doing the 511 sort of tactical pants, which I absolutely love. Um, you want to know my favorite? It's going to be the Striker, and that's only because they organized their sort of cargo pocket and they moved it up. The old Taclite Pros used to be way down here at your knees, and the Striker ones, they moved those up so they're just easily accessible. You can grab stuff, and they have a split organizer. I still love those, um, but I've, I've since moved on to the... Um, the off the grid guys uh, it is a little bit more of a cotton material it does have a good stretch to it these are a tapered fit so you know I get teased that they're skinny jeans but they do have a regular fit now in version 3 uh, I had a couple issues with the gusset uh, wearing out really quick on version 2 they have since sort of fixed that and moved the double material uh, into the right spot but just a quick over standard sort of fronts here each pocket you know, wallet pocket, you can see the stretch there, but there's also a cell phone slash AR-15 style pocket. Those are on each side. So cell phone can be ambidextrous, so you're carrying your girlfriend's or wife's cell phone. I can even fit her purse in this pocket. Uh, wallet back here. And then down the side, if you can see these, there's a little slim pocket. They're double stacked. There's two of them, and that's where I keep that first aid, uh, my gloves and my shield, my face shield for CPR uh, with the aspirin go in there. And then sometimes I'll do dog bags on the other side. There is a zippered sort of hidden compartment here if you wish. Uh, it is kind of designed for passport use. I find it a little tight uh, with my wallet when I'm carrying my passport. I generally don't just carry my passport when I travel. Um, however, that's where the flashlight um, you know the uh, lighter bro chapstick that stuff all goes right here and i really like these they are again a little bit more of a cotton material they do have a stretch to them so i don't feel like i'm going to break them out um, when i'm doing things that a guy my size shouldn't be doing uh, and my biggest worry was that you know the cotton would shrink and be uncomfortable and honestly i haven't found that they did have some special wash um, instructions when you got them and I found them to be amazing if you guys want a separate review we can talk about gen 1 gen 2 gen 3 uh, but if you've seen them around they're also making shorts identical to the gen 3 in two different lengths uh, for summertime I'll put a link down below guys uh, check them out if you haven't heard of them they were kind of a small business Kickstarter and they're doing very well from themselves and I'm happy to support them all right guys last piece of the puzzle is gonna be your footwear um, arguably some of the most important things that you put on or have available to you every day uh, the last boot video I did was a Blundstones actually wearing those right now um, these were a test after the Blundstone video and these are a GORUCK uh, what do they call Mac V ones uh, these are their roughed out suede in the tan version I was actually looking for the black ones because they are known to be be able to polish up nice uh, those were unavailable until the new year so I still may be ordering another pair phenomenal uh, we'll do a separate review if you guys want uh, this has been what nine months in the uh, making of uh, wearing these since the last boot review um, only downsides I've had so far are the laces have worn out a little bit uh, customer service was great six dollars for a pair is a little steep but they use a, a very specific three mil uh, lace now the other thing I'm having is a little bit of the leather eyes rip out and I've not contacted them that for that but they are known to have really good service and take care of everyone um, really good comfortable right out of the box comfortable ability uh, the sole is wearing really well uh, considering how many miles I put on this I've wore this in the gym I've ran with this I've done everything with this uh, the only thing I will say right now that uh, obviously the eyes the shoelace wear and then I actually would really like to have a kind of a safety toe in here um, but that's it absolutely hands down love them uh, if you have the means uh, they are not cheap but uh, I highly recommend them if you can deal with these little things and hopefully they will come and uh, fix them in the next version well guys that wraps up the first video of 2020 going strong of course the classic EDC I'm gonna finish my coffee get back to work and uh, filming more projects for you guys you guys have an amazing year let me know what you think we'll see you down the road Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.